हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आप सभी का स्वागत है अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट व्हिच इज डेवलपमेंट कम्युनिकेशन एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द लेसन वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस होल यूनिट विद इन सिक्स लेक्चर्स आई कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी ज्वाइन वी हैव विद अस कीर्ति बिदन अनामिका देन वी हैव Nandita, Babita, Ayushi, uh, all-rounder Salim, Shwetank, Priyam, Prasanta, uh, Vivekanand, and I can see a lot of other people joining. So, dear students, this is a very concept conceptual unit, very important unit. Okay, and you all are going to fall in love with this unit. I assure you. If by the end of this unit, if you don't uh, love this unit, then it will be my failure. Okay. so i am going to make this very interactive very interesting and with that uh, our major focus would be to solve a lot of pyqs to learn about new concepts okay but in the beginning of this unit i want something from you guys i want you guys to unlearn few concepts few things okay just have trust on me okay hold my hand i am going to sail you all through this but you guys have to unlearn few things because from my experience i have seen that a lot of people have learned the pyqs okay which is very bad and with uh, in respect to this unit it is very prominent okay so you have to unlearn a lot of concepts which you have learned in the form of just pyq answers okay and we are going to learn about all the concepts from foundation okay so if you even don't know anything actually it's very good <laughs> okay so let us begin this is actually a very very conceptual very important and a very interesting unit hai na this is the lesson 1 so this would be the meaning concepts and approaches and from this foundational concept you are going to solve a lot of questions okay i keep reiterating this things that always okay don't uh, don't ignore the foundations okay so guys when we talk about uh, development communication uh, if you are new to my channel my name is tushar goel i am a phd research scholar at center for media studies jnu i have also qualified jrf and other media related exams if you are preparing for any kind of media exam join us subscribe to our channel uh, you can uh, also download our application and website is all the uh, links are in the description box okay moving forward when we talk about uh, development communication first we have to actually address what actually is development okay so you all jump to those fancy paradigms of development modernization uh, rogers then participatory first you should address what actually is development and believe me guys it is <laughs> actually very complex okay so i am not going uh, i am not going to refer any western thinker for development let us see what our own amartya sen for me he is one of the biggest critical thinkers philosophers the nobel laureate amartya sen what actually he says that in simple term development means freedom so you can you guys all tell me what in in one word or in a word or two what actually is development for all of you because before learning about development communication before getting into the nitty gritties of development communication we should first address it for ourselves we should uh, have a clear understanding of development so ayushi is saying change what about others very good so let me make a mind mapping okay let see so somebody said change okay very good growth and evolution okay what about others himanshu himanshu is saying roti kapda makan basic needs shall i call this basic needs these are all theories what you are saying see you guys know everything but please learn unlearn few things you already know what i am talking about okay basic needs like somebody talked about roti kapda makan okay then achieve one's goal so can i call this self -ful fulfillment okay then what about others what about others what do you think is development for you then we will see what 
our own or the nobel laureate amartya sen is saying improvement in the standards of living okay betterment of life okay very good very good so see it does not have a single meaning it it is so fluid okay now i want to take you all through a slide okay so let us learn this concept from the dialectics of cinema so this film swades i always refer to this film when i talk mm. about uh development communication this is a very very provocative scene from the movie swades okay in which mohan bhargav is was traveling to a village and he just looks at this boy who was selling water for just 50 paisa okay so freedom in simple terms what i can say is that you all are having untapped potential you all have infinite potential okay which is untapped something is stopping you from uh, you can say uh, fully uh, using that potential okay what is stopping you so it can be some economic reasons it can be some social reasons say a patriarchal society which is not allowing you okay to reach to your maximum potential it can be political reasons okay so there can be a lot of reasons so this boy this boy is having a lot of potential this guy has infinite potential but what actually is uh, you know pushing him uh, back so there are a lot of reasons so let us come uh, go back to amartya sen then we will come back to this um, boy again okay so amartya sen is saying development means freedom freedom itself is a uh, subjective term okay so development is the process of expanding human freedom it is the enhancement of freedom that allows people to lead the life they have reason to live okay he says that development requires the removal of major sources of unfreedom once he is saying that development is freedom and it is also removing of things okay which are leading to unfreedom or sources of unfreedom what can it can be poor economic opportunities okay in third world countries we don't have a lot of opportunities if we all get good jobs if we all get opportunities to earn our livings we are going to reach our maximum potential okay social deprivation caste gender race okay everything is pushing us back neglect of public facilities political reasons okay intolerance or over activity of repressive states okay so freedom implies not just to do something but the capabilities to make it happen okay so if this boy has freedom he might not be selling uh, water on railway station endangering uh, you know endangering his life okay sain further argues that there are five types of interrelated freedom namely political freedom economic facilities social opportunities transparency and security okay moving forward so what exactly are the indicators how would we know that there is there has been development which has been facilitated in the society okay so what are the developmental indicators so see development is a lot of things to a lot of people so somebody might say that just modernize this society bring goods let's open factories they are going to modernize we are going to learn all this but uh, i am just setting the stage for some of you 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 all were you know some of you were saying that sir basic needs roti kapda makan if we fulfill our basic needs then it we, call, we we can call that development some might say that social equality of gender that is going to be the development another another might uh, other people might say that environmental factors the uh, the uh, the oxygen we are taking it should be pure the food we are eating it should be pure okay so it it ha it has a lot of different meanings different connotation of the same subject okay moving forward so there are several indicators of development okay so development we have already addressed what is development okay let us say for us to simplify it we can say that development is freedom development is uh, reaching our maximum potential okay using what we have okay then there are several indicators of development so if we look at development from economic perspective it could be gnp gross national product gdp gross domestic product okay gdp per capita or uh, the poverty level in a country when we look at uh, it from the perspective of health 
it is infant mortality life expectancy all these things which are related to health okay then hdi human development index very important this is was the concept given by uh, we are going to discuss about this in, uh, in the further slides then literacy rate social indicators like gender equality employment opportunities employment factors okay there can be multiple parameters to look at it okay so moving forward and there are also sustainable development goals this is very important so uh, you all learn this in paper 1 na in environment it is also very very important from the perspective of uh, development communication so there uh, in one of the papers they asked you what what is the sixth sdg or fifth sdg so you should learn this theek okay? hai so united nations has created seven uh world development goals okay they call it sustainable development goals it aims to transform our world they are a call to action to end poverty inequality protect the planet ensure that people enjoy health justice prosperity okay so you should go through uh, this you should uh, learn this actually all these 17 sdgs moving forward now there are several uh, indicators to uh, say see whether uh, what what are the level of development so first when we talk about say uh, economic factors we see dekho is bari isse question aaye aap log foundations ko nahi padhte aur un bachcho ne galat kiya hoga jisne foundation pe kaam nahi kiya hoga ye aapka december 2023 ka question jo abhi recent 2 mahine pehle exam hua ye aapka question aaya uske andar what can be the indicators to measure economic development in a country give me the correct answer gross national production Gra women empowerment gross enrollment ratio in education per capita income economic well being see i keep telling you na please first start with the foundation so in a paper say 100 questions 70 questions are going to be in your reach if you you know learn uh, your subject 30 questions you have to do <laughs> so 30 questions they will be of uh, very difficult level okay but first focus on these 70 aapko to sirf 65% ya 66 70 67 tak hi chahiye na theek hai so gross national production uh, then per capita income economic well being okay okay very good so the right answer would be a d e now you guys tell me what is the difference between gnp gross national production and gdp tell me in one line in in a single line tell me the, the difference between gnp and gdp these are the basic 11th class economic concepts theek hai 11th class mein economics hoti thi na micro macro usme ye sab padhte the one is national other is domestic wo to that's to name is suggesting this is national other is domestic you have to tell me in the comment box if you don't know you should know actually you, at least you should uh, retain what you have learned in your school la it, it is a very simple concept you all are a student of journalism and mass communication if you even don't know this basic you must be reading newspapers okay so that's why i keep keep telling you that we should be critical thinkers we shouldn't be we all have turned into just rote learners we keep rote learning only uh, pyqs okay so one gdp is the uh, the value of goods and production produced within the boundary of a nation and gnp also includes the people who are not present in the country or uh, they uh, they build, they are indian but they uh, you can say they they uh, diaspora okay but see amartya sen and mehboob mehboob ul haq he was a pakistani economics okay they came up with another uh, indicator of development which is human development index it came in 1990 okay so uh, the index was based on the human development approach developed by mehboob ul haq anchored in so it was inspired from amartya sen's work so they come up with three parameters one is long and healthy life knowledge and a decent standard of living okay so it includes life expectancy at birth and life expectancy index then knowledge expected years of schoolings 
ओके मेन ईयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग हमने कितनी पढ़ाई की है uh, कितनी एजुकेशनल अपॉर्चुनिटीज है ओके एजुकेशन इंडेक्स देन द थर्ड पैरामीटर इज द जी एन आई ग्रॉस नेशनल इनकम ओके पर कैपिटा इनकम सो दे एक्चुअली अकाउंट ऑल द पैरामीटर सोशल इकोनॉमिक ओके हेल्थ रिलेटेड फैक्टर्स सो इट इट इज एक्चुअली uh so you will find a lot of countries which have a uh, which have a very high gdp which have a very high gnp okay but they fall short in hdi okay so we uh, we can look at development from several lenses i'm i'm uh, saying theek okay? hai moving forward see there was another question from this concept only the human development this is a pyq okay so please start building your foundation first the human development index was created by the human development index was created by what should be the right answer we just learned about it okay so it was first developed by mehboob ul haq okay it was based on amartya sen's work year what what was the year so if tomorrow if they ask you is this in the chronological order you should all be knowing uh, all these chronology also okay if they say ask you about uh, new co then hdi index so everything should be clear okay 1990 okay moving forward so what could be the core areas of development family welfare agriculture health and sanitation income generation activities education animal husbandry food security environment okay you can also think of other areas these were few which i could think of then social equality okay uh, gender equality okay moving forward now let us we we are going to discuss about this later now uh, we have learned about the concept of development now let us learn what exactly is development communication okay so before moving forward let me take you to this plate so see let us see what actually development communication can initiate so this was the state of you know uh, the polio in india in 1950s and this is where we have reached this is all because of development communication so from a state of you know the worst affected polio uh, worst polio affected nation we actually became polio free okay moving forward then what is development communication it is development is change in society for betterment and communication is now development communication part is sharing of information and experiences to accelerate development okay so it includes the use of media platforms to address societal issues foster dialogue and advocate for inclusive development so media can include mass media okay it can include participatory media like community radios and in our context it can use traditional media like folk okay so you will you will see that uh, by the end of these 6 7 lectures everything is going to uh, okay everything is going to make sense you have to connect the dots everything is going to be connected through dots when you are going to learn about participatory communication or when wilbur schramm is talking about mass media and national development you have to connect the dots with these slides okay it should be you should have this these vis visual references throughout okay moving forward it includes information dissemination education these are keywords they are all are keywords okay jo aapko aage bhi milenge social marketing okay when uh, everin rogers is talking about diffusion of innovation okay then social mobilization media advocacy when we talk about development journalism okay then communication for social change and community participation so what could be a behavioral change see these ads of no smoking so if a person actually starts to practice it okay or beti uh, bachao beti padhao or it can also lead to economic development in the form of green revolution okay mass mobilization of people together they are coming together and they are adopting a certain kind of technology so this could only be initiated through discourse through communication 
which is development communication okay then development communication has been lab labeled as the fifth theory of press and in the normative theories i hope you all have seen that video it's a very important video the normative uh, theories of press every year they are asking a question whether you are cut student or phd student so dennis mcquell in 1980 he added two more normative theories okay two cybert's uh, uh, and schramm's theories so earlier four theories were authoritarian libertarian social responsibility okay uh, and they added he added democratic participant and developmental theory so it also comes under normative theories okay so moving forward so guys now let's let us do some bra uh, mind mapping i am writing development communication here you guys have to tell me few keywords related to it whatever we have just studied you guys revise now let us see how much you have retained with you give me keywords what exactly is development communication so i can write behavioral change okay i can write mobilization of people okay somebody is saying change very good lot of good inputs are coming from your side so it you guys are watching this video with great concentration social change priyam is saying participatory approach okay good what about others economic growth okay good social change change for betterment women development okay good 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 what are uh, these points are now overlapping okay dipika ji is saying cultural change okay education through entertainment very good very good see you all are thinking in the right direction okay shwetank is saying advocacy guys jab notes bhi banate ho na so please never make kil uh, kilograms of notes this is a mcq based pattern exam so you should try to make notes accordingly try to make two notebooks in one notebook you write your novels which you are writing uh, lengthy lengthy pages another notebook should be just you know pointers so when you are going to give that exam you should run through it three four times so don't make kilograms of notes okay it is one of the biggest mistake mistakes uh, aspirants do so kindly uh, be serious okay then what else uh, inclusive development okay good awareness very good very good so you all are in the right direction we can say education behavioral change okay okay so concept of development communication communication that can be used for development use of different types of messages uh, to change the socio economic condition okay these messages are designed to transform the behavior of people very important keywords then it improves the way of living of the citizens of a country okay please keep these things in a, in your mind way of living okay then transform the behavior socio economic conditions these are the keywords okay now this development communication has been defined by several scholars and that is uh, the topic of our study so salim is saying gender equality very good okay so nora sequebril she is often regarded as the mother of development communication why because in uh, the los banos or uh, uh, she was the very first person who started looking at development communication academically okay they started a school and they started uh, initiating an academic discourse over it earlier it was all talked about in uh, you know uh, but the very first initiative when they started learning about th this thing uh, through academic discourses so she defines development communication as the art and science of human communication she is saying this is an art as well as science so what does this actually means so this this has to be systematic also and also it should take account of the social factors of a society okay so it's a very very deep thinking 
applied to the speedy transformation of a country so uh, we are going to learn about lot of marxist thoughts also and also lot of uh, those economic growth uh, stages of economic growth so speedy transformation could happen through uh, you know ma massive industrialization or through betterment of uh, the the living conditions okay then poverty to a dynamic state of economic growth and uh, which makes uh, possible greater economic and social equality so guys in the coming years i can you know sense that there is going to be a question on this just definition so i i guess there was a question according to uh, nora c quebrel development is now what i think is that they can break this definition in multiple parts and they can ask you which among the following is correct according to noral c quebrel theek hai so you should this is a very very important definition you should actually learn it by heart okay so we should shouldn't be just Uh, you know restricting ourselves to the previous year questions we should try to think how can they ask uh, what kind of questions they can ask in future so looking at the current pattern they can just break this definition and they can ask you which among the following points are correct with respect to nora c quebrel so they can give you sequence of questions a b c a c d is tarah ke question aapne bahut dekhe honge a d e okay so she is saying that it is an art as well as science okay apply to the speedy transformation of a country okay so the word is speedy transformation from a state of poverty to a dynamic state of economic growth she is also talking about economic growth okay the uh, what people in modernization paradigm were talking about but uh, there was a critique of it okay very vocal critique of it also but they are also including th those terms and makes possible greater economic and social equality so this is the combination of both economic and social uh, areas of development moving forward then she is often regarded as the mother of development communication belong to laws bano school of communication so we are also going to learn about the schools of development communication in our coming classes her landmark 1971 paper entitled development communication in agricultural context so you should also keep a note of this that this was in context of agricultural communication okay so this was the college college of development communication cdc was set up okay and development communication as an academic discipline was started that's why this is very landmark okay moving forward then f Rose, uh, rosario braid she thinks that development communication is actually a management process you have to manage a lot of things okay an element of the management process in the overall planning and implementation of development program so she is saying that it is the part of these development programs okay so these development programs it is a part Uh, tool to manage these programs okay these programs are being set up at a uh, huge levels okay massive uh, development programs so development communication according to f braid is an element of management process in the overall planning of implementation and development of uh, implementation of development programs so can you name few development programs uh, in india only much talked about programs you should try to relate all these things in uh, in the local context you should also learn about the five year plans okay so uh, every year so who say uh, ayushman yojana okay very good beti bachao beti padhao so these are 1000 uh, crore 20000 crore programs okay so a lot of money is spent into these programs and she is saying that it is a management process development communication okay to facilitate those programs okay very good or if you guys don't know you should today go and at least learn about only not learn just read about 10 development programs which are going uh, on right now in india okay please don't learn uh, cram these things you should try to make a conceptual knowledge about it you will learn this you will love this i am saying okay moving forward then we have Uh, action ch uh, childless he says he says that this is a development 
support communication okay so development communication and development support communication they are both different terms okay so development communication communicates development messages for the betterment of the economic and social conditions where development support communication addresses the development planning and plan of operation so it is also he is also signaling to what uh, f braid was saying that uh, development support communication is a different concept okay though it is related to development communication but the development program it supports this program okay through newspapers through folk media we are supporting the development program okay through through all these messages so you should remember the name uh, of the uh, the person who gave the concept moving yes polio uh, polio campaign also then alan chakle chakle he he wrote a book a manual on development journalism okay this uh, concept was propounded in 1970 okay so alan chakle coined the term development communication he believed that development journalist job is threefold so they can ask you what according to alan chakle is the job of a journalist so it is to inform to interpret and to promote so uh during 1970s you will see that a lot of all those modernizing projects modernization projects okay which were started by western countries in these third world countries they actually failed so he was referring to uh, that that they should actually the development journalist they should inform uh, the stakeholders about the ongoing process or progress in these developmental projects okay they should try to interpret what exactly is going on okay and they should also promote the development initiatives okay moving forward so see there is oh ho this is the problem i face every time i don't know why my slides uh, okay solve this question the term development journalism was coined by this is a pyq i am uh, i am pikachu is saying sir ugc net or cut same hai kya no uh, dear so ugc net is a higher level exam uh, it is for phd and fellowship related exams and it is a level higher okay but if you are preparing for cut exam you can go through a playlist called history of media where you will find a lot of videos which uh, which will be very beneficial for you so we have more than 100 hours of content on our channel <laughs> one of our subscribers uh, uh he sent us a message and uh, J- jagdeep ji sent us a message today that we have uploaded 100 videos i was uh, i i was also unversed about it so congratulations to all of you that we have actually <laughs> we have 100 lectures on this uh, channel okay so thank you so much uh, for watching them actually okay so you guys are saying a alan chakle very good ear year which year okay good okay so this was a question i don't know why uh, my ppt it's showing all black so they are asking who gave the concept of development as art and science see art and science so it has to be matched with nora c cobrel remember this okay so guys that was all from uh, my side for today's lecture okay development journalism discourse aims to promote there is more to it wait wait don't go development journalism discourse aims to pr- promote media imbalance media ethics media trail trials media profits so this has to be cancelled because uh, it uh, it is not the uh, the main motive of development journalism media trials is also a negative connotation okay so the right answer would be media ethics okay then moving forward okay uh, we are going to learn about the paradigms of development in tomorrow's class let us just revise what we learnt in today's class because revision is very important so i am going to run you all through whatever we have learnt in today's class it is very important we have also solved several questions okay so i hope you will also revise because if you don't revise then you are not going to retain okay so we started with the basic concept of development i hope now it is clear okay so uh, uh, the greatest economist one of the greatest economist he is saying that development means freedom 
always remember that we all are having that untapped potential within us okay say if we get the opportunities the social opportunities okay or social freedom political freedom economic freedom we, uh, sir how can i prepare for cut exam uh, we can make a video about it later okay so he is saying that development is the process of expanding human freedom okay so uh, and how by removal of major sources of unfreedom okay so what is stopping us it is poor economic opportunities so through development initiatives how can we uh, increase the level of income of farmers how can we promote employ employment opportunities how can we uh, initiate skill development okay so that people start creating jobs they can uh, you know create better opportunities for themselves then social deprivation <coughs> okay social inequality so we say that uh, economy is 5 trillion 3 trillion but when the 70% of wealth is just being controlled by few families okay so can we actually say that it is uh, real development okay then neglect of public facilities as well as intolerance of over activity okay then we learned about the concept of development journalism or development uh, communication so there are several indicators remember them okay we can uh, we can look at or judge the indicators uh, of development from several lenses so economic lenses would it would be gnp gdp per capita income health factors hdi human development index okay literacy rate social indicators and environmental indicators okay then there are several sdgs okay and then we learned about several definitions of development by nora c quebrel f braid then alan chasclay development journalism and third or fourth person was exchange Ch childers okay so guys that was all i hope you learned something and uh if you have any doubts those who are watching in the recorded session you can write to me in the comment box i will uh, be coming up with a prompt reply okay and tell me how are you feeling uh, give me your true feedback if you are facing any problem with these lectures i will be uh, i would uh, i would love to you know improve so take care we shall complete this uh, within next 7 days okay so we should keep targets for ourselves okay and please keep working on paper 1 the paper 1 is ma actually make or break game okay sir kal se do time no no bidan uh, actually i am not even getting time to uh, for one time i will uh, one time only okay okay thank you babita ji sir you are planning to cover the whole 10 units uh, yes that I, that is what i am thinking then thank you okay thank you kirti yes yes there are several few videos about development communication earlier also so you can also follow them okay umar is saying sir your teaching method is very helpful according to upcoming and uh, thank you so much umar okay okay guys thank you we shall meet in another lecture tomorrow okay take care and please also revise